Okay, on number 20 down here, we want to actually, um, from the following orbital, state the n, l, and m sub l that would apply, and then sketch the shape of those. Turns out the shape's going to be the easier part of this, because the shape is dictated by essentially what that letter is. So all s orbital orbitals are just kind of spheres, or circles, and all p orbitals are the weird figure eights, the little dumbbells. Now if it asks for D, that's the potentially four. So like two of these on top of each other, but there's also one that um, kinda has just a single one, and then the other orbital is like a donut that orbits it. Um, those are hard to draw because they are a much more uh, three-dimensional shape, so I typically never ask you to sketch a, a D orbital. All right, but getting the actual values, the N sub L and the M sub L, uh, those are things that we can get. Now it turns out the, the 3 and the S only tell you the N and the L. And same with that 2 and P, it still only tells you the N and the L. The M sub L is slightly different. Alright, so 3S tells me the N equals 3 because of that 3 right there. And the S tells you what the L value is. So you have your four main types of orbitals that we see and their L's go up by integers starting at zero. So being that this is an S, we have an L of zero. Now M sub L's can have multiple values, but on the S level there is actually only one M sub L. It's always zero. We'll see it's different over here. That's mainly because the possible M sub L's go from negative L so m sub l equals negative l all the way up to positive l uh, via integers. But since your l is zero, your only possible m sub l is zero. So that's the answer to 20. Uh, for the 2p, you have an n of 2 because of that 2. And the p tells you that your l is 1. And your m sub l would go be possibly negative 1, negative L, 0 to positive 1, positive L. Now technically the X is specifying 1 in particular, um, but uh, it turns out X is not necessarily negative 1, 0, or 1. So all of these are possible answers for that, but um, by putting that X, that was to help you with the shape to draw just one of these, because at least in theory, the entire P group, which has all three of these possible M sub L's, would mean that there's three P orbitals fully overlapping each other. And then there's one coming up out of the paper, kind of like on Cartesian coordinates. So I'll draw it like that. Uh, it's hard to draw, obviously. So I put the little X just so you draw a single figure eight.